piece of um, chipboard from my stash that I thought that this would look like super cute on and um, then I'll just set the little so we'll take put this like like put this into a tray I think um, so it'll work like that I think uh, so for this, what we're going to do is I know that <laughs> if y'all are like me, <laughs> if y'all make mini albums and do things with chipboard, right, um, you've got tons of scraps <laughs> like this. <laughs> so that's where I got this from. So just look through your scraps and see if you have, you know, anything that, you know, this one's bigger. Maybe I'll use this one. Oh, nope, they're the same. Oh, maybe I'll just tap it. Maybe I'll use that one. Okay, so just pick out a piece of scrap that you have in your, um, you know, your bin. And then you're just going to go ahead and, and pick out other scraps, okay? And we're going to put them together um, with some construction um, tape. We're, it's going to be paper, but we're going to tape it together, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to do that. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I'm going to have to cut um, my strips here for the little um, for the, the little tray that we're making, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to cut um, your chipboard is going to be at um, 11 inches it's going to be by five and a half by 11 inches, okay? So that's the piece that you're going to need. And then your other pieces are going to need um, to be at one inch by 11. So you'll need two of those, okay? And then you'll need two pieces that are one inch by uh, five and a half. And those are going to fit on either side of there, okay? Now to glue these together, um, I think I've used the, this technique before when I did the Valentine's mailbox. Um, this was last, I think it was, was it the beginning of the year? Gosh, I can't remember. I think it was at the beginning of this year. I did the Valentine's mailbox and that turned out super cute. And I used authentic paper for that. And um, anyway, I went ahead and made some construction uh I don't know, they call them, I can't remember, strips, construction strips, I think, is what they call them, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to glue these on. <laughs> okay. So basically, you're going to go ahead and take your little, you're going to take your construction strip, and your construction strips can be um, at, let's see, this one's a little bit bigger, but I think I cut them all at one inch. This one's a little bit larger. It's one and a quarter. Um, and you can make them as long as you want or as short as you want. I just took um, some scraps that I had from my scrap pile, uh, you know, from cards and, and mini albums that I had done. And um, I just cut those and made um, some of these. So you're just going to take your little um, strip here. Okay, you're going to go ahead and glue this on the back of here like that. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to glue it to the bottom of this. And this is what's going to hold our little tray together. Okay, so um, and then once we get our little things done here, okay, and the same thing here. And like I said, I just took whatever strips I had. Since we're covering this with paper, I didn't think it really mattered what color we used. So um, if you want to use a different color, that's up to you. You can use the same color all the way around. It doesn't really matter. Um, 
I mean, you can use this as a border. So if you, let's say when you cover this, when we get to that point, you don't have to cover all the way to the bottom. You can always just leave a little bit right here. Okay. Uh, like about maybe what an eighth inch, um, a uh, little border around your paper if you wanted to do that. So, um, okay. So that's what we're going to do with these. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this together. And while I'm putting it together, I'm going to fast forward. Okay. Hi all, so right here I just wanted to narrate real quick that I'm putting together the construction pieces um, on the strips, on the chipboard strips, all the way around the tray. And um, as my video didn't show me putting together all of this um, during the process, and I just wanted to let you know you'll just do the what I'm doing here is adhering the strip down with the chipboard piece attached and you'll do that all the way around your edges okay and then when I come back I will go ahead and further have further instructions for you on how to put the rest of the pieces together okay I'm back so um, what I did here was after we went ahead and put on all of our sides okay I went ahead and cut um, some more one inch strips okay for the top um, because I thought that um, this might be an easier way on how to cover your edges now you can paint your edges or however you want to do them um, if you know you wanted it to to be easier instead of trying to wrap everything and so forth I thought it would be easier just to get strips so I made this the strips one inch okay I went ahead and bent them where the corners are on your little tray okay and then I went ahead and cut the inside so how you're going to cut the inside so they fit is you're going to cut up right up. Let me go ahead and see if I can zoom in more. Okay, so you're gonna once you have it bent to where you need it, where your center is that it's bent in the corner or the corner part, you're gonna cut up that straight line, okay, where it's bent right there, okay, and then you're gonna cut that little triangle right to that. And you're only going to do one side. You don't need to do two sides, okay? Then you're going to go ahead and just push the, put that right over your corners. And I did it on each one. So like this one actually folded twice on here, okay? Went ahead and cut straight up on my um, edging where my um, corner part was, where it folded, okay? So there's, there's the fold line. You can see the fold line right there. Okay. And then I went ahead and just cut at an angle right here on that next part, next piece. Okay. See right there where I cut the mm -hmm. angle. So you're going to do that all on all four or three actually of these strips. Now it's up to you however many strips you want to use. I used three long ones and I believe that they are... 12 inches. Yeah, they're 12 inches. They're 12 inches long. So I cut three at 12 inches long and one inch. Okay. So they just fit right in those corners just like that. Okay. And then you can glue them down. And I thought that would be the simplest way to go ahead and get it covered. So you don't have to worry about painting or covering the whole thing with a sheet of paper. So not only do you have 
this part that actually covers um, our, um, or not covers, but well, it kind of covers, and it also um, is acting at a as a um, as an adhesive for our boards to stay together, our chipboard. Okay, um, but then you also have the top part where it's going to be covered with your strips. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tack these down, and once I get these tacked down, then I will be right back. Okay, so there is our tray. So the next part we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and cover um, all of our parts. So um, for so then we're going to go ahead and cover the the inside of this, and then we'll go ahead and cover the bottom part and do some strips around here. So um, for the strips, depending on what you want. Um, if you want to have a border, um, you can go ahead and cut those at one inch, okay, if you don't want to have a border. If you want to have a border, um, I would go ahead and cut them at like, um, oops, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you want to have a border, you can cut them at one inch um, if, you, um, if you don't want to have a border. Um, if you want to have a border around your strips area, um, you can go ahead and cut them at uh, uh, seven eighths. Okay. And for myself, um, I have one spot right here that doesn't have anything. So I'll probably just grab a little piece of paper here. I now I have. Here we go. There's a little piece right there. So I'll just stick that on there just like that. Just in case I, I, I have like a little border or something on my, that, you know, kind of shows. Um, I'll just go ahead and stick that right there, just like that. Um, but I think for mine, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to wrap this first, the bottom part. Okay, so we're going to do the bottom part first. And... I'm going to make my um, wrapping um, or cut my paper a little, about maybe um, a quarter inch more than what I need. Um, and the reason for that is so it will wrap around the edges here, okay? So you'll just have a little, um, a little bit of a, uh, Uh, a bit, a little bit of a border um, down here. Then you can cut your pieces at one inch, okay? And um, so if you cut them at one inch, then that leaves um, a perfect um, border around here. So then on the inside here, you should only need, yeah, a seven eighths of an inch on the inside. So the inside borders here would be seven eighths. 
And then this right here would be about, um, I think we can cut it at 11 and then you might have to cut it down some, but you can cut it at 11 and see, um, see if we need to cut it a little shorter. So it'd be like 11 by five and a half. Okay. So for my, for my bottom piece, I'm going to go ahead and use this. I think this is just gorgeous. So, um, and it matches this so well. <laughs> so that's the back of that. So, um, so for this piece, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm actually going to cut it at about five. Let's see. I think we said five and a half here, right? So, yeah, it's five and a half. So I'm actually going to cut it at five and three quarters. So this will be cut at five and three quarters by uh, 12. Okay. So five and three quarters by 12. And I cut out here. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. I'm just looking for spots. Nope, spots. So five and three quarters. Okay, and then we can go ahead and cut like all of our paper. So this is actually five and three quarters by 11, and we can actually put that in there. So, so um, let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see. For the inside here, I was going to do I was going to go ahead and put these ladies down here. So we need five and a half by eleven. And so I need to cut it this way. So five and a half. Okay. By 11. And it looks like we are going to have to cut this down just a smidge. So, I think, um, Um, let's cut it down to I did five and a half. Let's go ahead and try five and um let's go ahead and try five and a quarter by uh, 10 and 7 eighths. So 5 and a quarter by 10 okay. and 7 eighths. And that's going to be for your inside paper, okay? So 5 and a quarter. And I think I actually want to cut this up. Sorry, <laughs> I just want to make sure I have five and a quarter by ten and seven eighths. Okay, so that is actually a little smaller than what I wanted, but it does fit. So if I think if you cut it like right at five and um, I think if you cut it at five and three eighths, I think that might that might work better. So let me see. 
so that will work. So let's do five and three eighths. Okay. And ten and seven eighths is actually perfect. And yeah, that actually works. That's perfect. So 5 and 3 eighths by uh, 10 and 7 eighths for the inside is actually really perfect, you guys. So that fits perfectly. So then you can go ahead and cut your other strips at 7 eighths. And then those should, those should work out perfect as well. Okay. And for your strips, um, yeah, I can't get it out. Um, for your strips, what you want to do is you want to, um, I, you can do it one of two ways. You can either make them a little long, okay, so they fold like this, okay, so you'll have like a little tiny piece like in the corners like that, um, and then just add another strip on top of that, and you can do it that way. Or you can just go ahead and measure them and cut them, you know, 11 or the 10 and 7 eighths uh, by 7 eighths. And um, then this, this one would be 4 and 7 eighths by 7 eighths. Okay. So you can do them that way or you can, I, I usually just go around, I just cut the whole 12, 12 by 12 piece of paper and then I just kind of go from there. So, um, and then I usually, so 12, I usually cut it 12 um, by 7 eighths, and then here I'll cut it um, to fit right here, um, the edges, okay? So I'll cut those by 4 and 7 eighths by 7 eighths, okay? So that's how I'm going to do that part. So let's go ahead and go back to um, covering this right here. So this right here is going to be this piece. Okay, and so for here, you can either use your wet glue or you can use your um, your score tape. Um, for this outside part, I think I'm going to use my score tape. I just like the way that it, it lays um, better. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my two inch score tape, and I'm just going to go ahead and tear that off. Just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it right up on top of here, all the way down, okay?
So now we're going to go ahead and just lay um, our little um, our little piece onto our um, paper here. And um, you want to go ahead and try to get it to where it's um, even on both the bottom and the top. Okay, so just going to make sure that I have enough. Um, I think this is the wrong size. Yeah, I think this is it. I started looking at that and I thought, no, that doesn't look right. Yeah, okay, this one's better. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to leave like about a quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom so I can go ahead and roll it over. So hopefully, I get it straight. But you never know. <laughs> okay. So now you're just going to go ahead and burnish that down on your paper. Okay, and then you have your um, paper. Um, so what you're going to do is get your bone folder, and you're just going to go ahead and go around your box like you do with your mini albums. And you're just going to go ahead and put a crease in that. Okay? That's all you're doing is just putting a crease in it. So that way you can... Um, fold it over, okay? And I actually did the wrong side of my paper, but that's okay. I wanted the purple side, and I got the flower side, but that's all right. No worries. It's all good. It's all good. So what we could do, though, is we could go ahead, and since we have the flower side here, I still put the purple on the other side. And right now we're just I'm just gonna go ahead and fold in my um, pieces. And I'm just folding them in. I'm not attaching anything yet. Okay. And then, um, uh, okay, and then once you get all your pieces folded, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut um, a little piece right here where you scored it. You're just going to go ahead and cut that right there, okay? And you're going to leave kind of like a little tab right there, okay? Okay, so you're going to go ahead and cut just one side of your um, little tabs. So you're going to do it like that. Okay, this is um, this little tab is actually going to go in here, and then you're going to glue this part here. So the tab is going to go on the inside, and then you're going to glue this part right here to it. Okay. So, you're going to go all the way around your box and just cut those little tabs where you made your creases. Just like that. Okay? And then you can go ahead and um, start gluing every, your sides down. And for that, you could go ahead and use your art glitter glue. Or you could use your score tape. Whatever you would like. So I'm just putting a little bit here.
we're just going to go ahead and cut some pieces to fit around this part, okay? Again, I leave mine at 12 inches, um, so I will cut mine at 1 by 12 uh, for the long sides. And then the short sides here, I will go ahead and cut those um, probably at, was it? Um, I will cut those at um, five and a half, one, one inch by five and a half. Okay, so just deciding if I want to do, and I'm going to go ahead and try to do this and see how it looks with this one. So again, we're just going to do one inch by 12, and we'll need two of those. And then you will need two of the um, one inch by uh, five and a half. Okay, so, and I'm just going to go ahead and lay those down. So the, yeah, so the one inch by five and a half, and then the 12 by one inch, just like that. Okay, so that works out perfectly. And again, you can just go ahead, and if you want to um, ink your paper, you can do that. Just depends on what look you're going for or whatever you want to do. I'm not going to ink fine, but this is the time where you would start inking your paper once you get them, get everything cut out. And then I'm just going to wrap mine right around the box. Okay. Again, I'm just smooth, 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 smoothing these down. <laughs> so.
there is your box. So, or your tray, I should say, not your box, but the tray. And now we just have to do the seven eighths and um, cut those up. And um, I think this was the one we were going to use. In here. Yes. Okay. So for that one, um, again, I'm going to go ahead and just put some tape on the bottom of this. And for this one, I'm actually going to use um, my score tape. But I'm going to use the smaller score tape that I have, which I can't find. Inside, we just have to cut the inside parts out, and I think for that, um, there we go. I thought about using this paper here, or you know what? I haven't used. I haven't used this part yet. So I think I use the little um, umbrellas. So um, again, you just need these. You'll need um, a couple that are um, four inches or uh, seven eighths inches by uh, four and seven eighths inch. Okay. So, so we we'll need. Well, that are seven and it's seven eighths inch by twelve inch, and then a couple that are four eighths. Well, four. I'm sorry, seven eighths by twelve, and a couple that are twelve inches or seven eighths by twelve inches. Seven eighth by twelve. Okay. We need two of those. And then you'll need um two that are seven eighths by four and seven eighths. So it's four and seven eighths. So I think that's what we're going to need. Oh, no, no, no. It's too small. Oh, five. I'm sorry. Uh, we will need it at five and five and three eighths. Sorry, That's right. seven eighths by five. Yep, that's it. Seven eighths by five and three eighths. I think. Let's see here. Hold on. Hold on one second. It's not fitting quite right. I would go ahead and make it at five and five and seven eighths, or five and three three eighths. Sorry. Okay. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay down our um, 12 inch pieces. Okay. Again, you're going to lay them down in there first and kind of put them, um, make sure you get in the corner real good. So you can um, go ahead and kind of get them already fixed in there. Like you're going to bend them in the corner. So you can make your, kind of like your score mark, kind of like your score line. So when you put it in there, it will fit right in that area. Okay. And I just use my finger. I mean, um, so if you wanted to, you could go ahead and you could put this in, a, in your scoreboard after you make your marks with your finger and have a more defined line if you want. Um, but, you know, you don't have to. This is just an easier way that I do it, um, so that way um, it's just faster <laughs> for me. <laughs> Instead of taking out the scoreboard and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so this is how I do it sometimes. It's easy peasy. Just use your fingernails, you know. So or your finger. Your finger marks it pretty good. So so now you have your marks, okay? And then these will be on this right here like that okay so now we can go ahead and add our glue to these oh, I'm so excited when it's done it's so cute These little brow umbrellas are so cute on this paper. So, so cute. And I think Archana does have some more of these kits in her shop. I will put the link below. Um, and you are more than welcome to I'll message her as well and see if she has any more of these in her shop. Um, so, you know, her um, store is craftycity.com. And um, sh her Facebook page is Shabby, uh, the Shabby Paper Hut um, Facebook page. So you can find her there and all her beautiful papers. And she's getting more um, Stamparia in at this time. And she's getting in the Graphic 45 papers. And she's getting in the new Prima molds and um, just about oh, inks too, I think. And so she's getting in a bunch of new fun stuff. It's just going to be awesome. Okay. So if you find that your paper is doing this, you can always cut it just a tad. So if you needed to, just cut off a smidge and see if it fits better. Okay, so I might go ahead and put these in the cutter. And I'm just actually, I'm going to show you, I'm not even, I'm not even cutting like a fourth of an inch. I'm just cutting like a tiny, tiny smidge okay. off. Just like this. Okay, okay just like that. That's all I'm cutting off, just to have it fit in there. If it's, um, and then you just keep cutting. If you know if it's not fitting, just just keep cutting it until you know it it kind of fits. But I'm not. I don't really know how much I'm cutting because I'm just cutting off like seriously a sixteenth of an inch or whatever. So um, see now it fits right in there. Like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on here. And
and this is where you can go ahead and you can always lay it on its side and burnish those papers down just like that. Okay. And now we're done. So um, the only other thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and put um, some little handles right here uh, on our box. And we are going to do that in a minute. And then um, we have to finish up. Here's our little tea box right here. Okay, so it sits like that. And then um, we've got our little cups that we've got to fill. And um, and then I will be right back. So um, I'm going to take a short break. I'll be right back, you guys.